who are delighted to have uh, Warren Feeney back with us too. And let's be fair, February in the league, you're in second place. You're four behind uh, Crusaders, a game in hand. Not a bad place to be, Warren. Uh, it's a great place for us. Um, you know, I always picture a, a horse and you don't want to be, you know, bulled off too early. Um, you want to stay in behind and we we'll said it's going to go right to the wire. I still think it will. Um, you know, the important thing for us is just to keep winning. Saturday um, games, Tuesday games, you know, and stay in contention. And, you know, Crusaders have been on a fantastic run. But, you know, it's down to us to put a bit of pressure on them. And I'm pleased with the way it's going. Very pleased. Look at the way the bookies have it too. They're now putting it into a two-horse race, which I presume is what you would like. Just yourself and Crusaders to go head to head and let the rest of them fall away. Almost port it down in Cliftonville if it worked out for you. Yeah, you would. You would. Um, you'd like to be well in front, <laughs> mm. um, but unfortunately, it's not. But as I say, yeah, it's you know at the end of the day, we've just got to concentrate on Linfield and you know as I say, win our games and you know bookies will always always have the odds on and. You know, as I say, Crusaders are in a fantastic run, but I've just got to worry about that club and, and hopefully put them under pressure. Grant McCann into your uh, squad, got a great goal, you know, only a second match in. It'll take him a wee while, I suppose, to settle in like that, but a very astute signing. Always a great signing, and you know, it was quite easy to get Grant because he didn't look at, um, he didn't want to go anywhere else. You know, it was all about Linfield Football Club. There was a couple of clubs in League One, one of them, and you know, he turned them down. Um, and you know, I, I don't know on a Peterborough. Listen, he's a quality player, he's an international player. And you know, it was it was quite you know easy to get him when that phone rang. It was you know I went to the board quite easy and they backed me. And the good thing is, he's well in our wage structure. He's not, he's not. Um, but people saying the the amount of money flying around. He's he's not. He's in our wage structure by well in it to be honest, which is pleasing. But he's here for the football at the end of the day. You say pleasing too, and I suppose whenever you take a look at the wage structure and you talk about some players in the Irish League, who you have, without naming names, who you've tried to sign, who are looking serious money, and then you get a player like Grant McCann. Well, it shows you his hunger, and you know, I, I said this before, Adrian, I, 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 and it's no disrespect to any other teams, but I just don't understand where these teams with smaller gates can get the money to bring players in. You know, we're, at Slimfield Football Club, we're the biggest club. Um, but you know I've sat across the table with players and I'm being honest it's been embarrassing speaking to them it's been absolutely embarrassing and that's the thing I can't get my head around but then you've got a player like Grant who wants to come home play football play for Linfield and he's done that as I say you know it's it's a toss of a coin really because you've got a hungry player and then you've got someone who to me you know wants to go and play for the money really and it's somewhere we can't compete biggest crowd biggest club and with it the biggest pressure would that be fair yeah, of course. I knew it before before I come in. Um, it's huge pressure, you know. But at the end of the day, uh, I knew it. Um, it's a job that I wouldn't have put myself forward for. It's one that I wouldn't come home for. But listen, I, I don't, you know. As I said this before, I don't care about um, pressure. You know, having four kids running around my house every morning was pressure. Uh, interesting, you bring the likes of Grant in like that. You know, and you're already in this the, this season as well too. The the quality I noticed that he's mentioned it too. The quality of the Irish league has sort of taken a, some years a wee bit by um, uh, not not shock, but you're surprised by the level and the quality. And I have to say again, after covering stacks of the matches, I haven't seen a bad game this season. Yeah, no, it's it's it has been. Um, maybe you could say surprising to be honest, because you know we have I've been in England all my life. Um, and coming home probably they don't give you that much time on the ball a lot of teams go back to front um, a lot quicker where you know instead of getting the ball down and playing but as I say it's part and parcel that's their prerogatives but it's been a good league some fantastic games but as a manager you're sitting there you know where probably we're scoring goals but you know you're, there's a lot of goals conceded in the league and that's throughout the whole league um, so as I say for the neutrals it's fantastic you know there's plenty of goals which they want to see in games on a Saturday but um you know, from manager's point of view, you know, you'd like to tighten up. I'm sure the other managers would as well with, with the back four and the goalkeeper not concede as much. You talk about being a manager, you know, and you're on the line too. Uh, will you play again this season? Hopefully I've registered myself still. Um, I wanted to bring a striker in on deadline day just for competition for places, but I haven't. My calf's a lot better than injury for a while. I keep myself fit. And so I don't see why not. You know, it's the part of the season that I love. The last ten, twelve games of the season is where you really got to pull rank and pull your boys together. And it's a fantastic um, time, I think, if you're in contention. And you know, it's one the boys should be ready to express themselves. How good are Crusaders? 
Crusaders are a good side, but there's like Cliftonville poured it down. People's knocking Tommy Breslin. It's Cliftonville. You know he's won two cups this year. The first two cups up. Um, they don't become a bad side overnight. And I've no doubts whatsoever they'll they'll you know I think once they get their first one they'll be back. Crusaders are a good side. They're strong. They're physical. You know they know what they are. Stephen's got a, a team that he's been there ten years. Um, he's got boys that are hungry. But as I say, I've just got to concentrate on Linfield Football Club. How good are Linfield? I'm pleased with the way it's going. You know, we've got a lot of young boys in there. Um, and I said, if you're good enough, you're old enough. You know, Ross Clark there. People talk about White. People talk about Stuart. Ross Clark's up there for me and he showed his, his ability against Bellamina. Um, but I just want hungry mix. And, you know, I'm very, very pleased with the way it's going. And, you know, if, as I say, we're in a good, good, good position. Leagues don't lie. And, you know, we've just got to concentrate on, you know, winning football matches and hopefully come the end of the season, they'll, we'll have a bit of joy. You're sitting here working with McLean's TV and it's all about betting and stuff like that. So if you were a betting man, would you be putting money on Linfield to win this league? Can you win this league? <laughs> Look, Will you yeah, win this league? That's a hard question. That, um, <laughs> that's what you're here for. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like to look too far in front, but uh, as I say, we're in our change room. We're, we're quietly confident, but I'm sure the rest of the other teams up there are the exact same. Um, but working with those players, you know what I mean? We know what we've got to do and that's one that we're looking forward to to the last two, three months of the season. And finally, I want to ask you, you know, whenever you come over at the start, you said you were really enjoying it and it was lovely to be here. And uh, Are you still enjoying it? I love it. I love it. Um, great people, as I say to you, you know what I mean? <laughs> great friends that I've met and I can see probably more regularly. Um, and obviously you, Logan, you know what I mean? I see you more than my wife, to be honest. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's I don't know pleasing. what that means. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's pleasing, to be honest. I love it over here, you know what I mean? As I say, I wouldn't have come home. And yes, you get, you know, like everywhere, you get your people who, who want to shoot you down. But as I say, I just concentrate around the people who support me. Um, and, you know, enjoy it.